In this lesson, let's learn about utilizing data and representative values. Mode. 資料の活用、代表値、再頻度。Let's learn the procedure for finding the mode from a set of numbers. Mode is the number that appears most frequently in a set of numbers. First, start by arranging the numbers from low to high. Next, make it easier to count the same numbers. Do this by marking them with the same symbols to make them easier to see. Next, find the number that came up the most. Summarize the data from the set of numbers by making a bar graph. We can see that 23 is a number that appeared most frequently. Finally, write down your answer. That concludes our explanation for finding mode. Now let's do some practice. Press the pause button and try to solve the practice problem. Once you're finished, press the resume button and mark what you got correct. Now let's check our answers. For number one, summarize the set of data and put it into a bar graph. Doing so, the answer is 14. For number two, we also summarize the set of data and put it into a bar graph. The answer is 25. Were you able to answer both problems correctly? Finally, let's review what we have learned. In this lesson, we learned the procedure for finding the mode from a set of numbers. The mode is the number that appeared most frequently in the set of numbers. We start by arranging the numbers from low to high. After that, we make it easier to count the same numbers. We do this by marking them with the same symbols to make them easier to see. Next, we find the numbers that came up the most. We summarize the data from the set of numbers by making a bar graph. We can see that 23 is the number that appeared most frequently. Finally, we write down our answer. That concludes our explanation for finding mode. That concludes this lesson.